I'm from Indianapolis and I remember each weekend my dad driving around kind of where he grew up and saying you need to get an education. Other people in my family hadn't had that uh, experience, didn't have those opportunities and he knew that education meant opportunities, it meant choices, it meant freedom, it meant that you have more options later on in life. The difficulty is when you're a first generation student, you can have a family value of education, but maybe not know exactly how you turn that into reality. My first semester, I was at a different school and it just wasn't the right fit for me. And I knew that I needed to make a change. My second semester, my freshman year, I came to IUPUI and I took a few different classes in liberal arts and I just really connected with the faculty in the political science department. Dr. Pegg gave me a book called Bananas, Beaches, and Bases by Cynthia Inlow when I was an undergrad, probably in his war and conflict class. And it's really a framework for looking at conflict and international relations in a different way, using feminist international relations theory. And I'd never encountered this kind of thinking and it really shifted my worldview. I was really involved in the Political Science Students Association and also just within Indianapolis volunteering and being involved in some civic organizations, including the Indiana National Organization for Women chapter. And at that time, we had the March for Women's Lives that was occurring. And a lot of us here at IUPUI wanted to go and be part of that in Washington, D.C. We organized a fundraiser here locally so that a bus of students from IUPUI could come to the mall, be part of that day, and you know represent our beliefs in women's rights and be part of that historic day. My first job in my federal career after IUPUI was as a policy analyst with the Department of Homeland Security. I found that I needed a lot of tools in my toolkit to understand things like public health, economic impacts of how private industry may affect security issues, communication, being able to write memos very quickly on, a, on short notice and getting those materials to people, explaining complex information in accessible terms to multiple audiences. Those types of skills were really important for me to be successful. Today I'm still with the Department of Homeland Security and I work for the Center for Prevention Programs and Partnerships and I'm the Regional Prevention Coordinator for the states of Illinois and Indiana and we're working to build local frameworks to prevent violence, targeted violence and terrorism by um, looking for ways that we can do early intervention and prevention and really approach violence prevention of this type from a public health perspective. Having my first semester of college be shaped by September 11th, starting in 2001 and then trying to figure out what did I want my career to be? What did I want my contribution to be to protect the country and to be involved in public service? Definitely took me some time to figure out. And I think during my time at IUPUI, I was able to explore those different things through different courses, different disciplines. I'm just grateful and I feel lucky to be able to take what I have learned and try to apply it to making Indiana safer and to making you know, my friends and family safer and our community safer. That's my goal. I couldn't have told you when I was here at IEPUI that this is what I would be doing because I wouldn't have imagined it. Happy 50th anniversary, liberal arts.